Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Episode von Journey to the Chateau uh, von Saint-Baudel im Chateau de Colombe. We are uh, hier draußen. Es waren heute und gestern 24 Grad. Hm. Bonjour à tous. <lacht> Bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Colombe in Saint-Baudel. <lacht> Pardon me. And now to English speaking friends from around the world. Uh, welcome to another episode of Journey to the Chateau. It was uh, such a beautiful day and yesterday as, as well. Yeah. So we thought we would give it a try out here. I know that we have problems with wind, but uh, we do actually have a windscreen for the microphone. So we're trying it and hoping that it works. Uh, bear with us. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Daumen gedrückt. Yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> so this episode. Uh, is about us uh, starting our potager, which is a vegetable garden. Uh, yes, and it was actually really funny. Um, when you have a machine that you think is really, really great, and it is. And you think you know how to use it, <laughs> and uh, maybe not so much. <laughs> well, maybe, uh, yes, and let's have a look. <laughs> Two or three, and then thin them out. By the way, the fleur is blooming. How is it? Let's go see. It is the most incredible purple. Oh, Stunning. yeah. Stunning. Is that pretty? Oh, yeah. Blooming. These are shallots. It's a regular onions. Those are late comers. So that we only have this one in the house, right? Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go do some planting. We are, aren't we? Yeah. All right. <laughs>
Now, the tiller is great. I mean, truly. It is. It actually, eventually, it worked really well. Well, now, having said that, so, <laughs> I don't know, 20 years, this has been mowed by a full-size tractor. Mm. They're heavy. Mm -hmm. They're even heavier than me. Right. Uh, what? <laughs> right. No, but uh, the gr so the ground, I mean, this the area that we're putting the potager is originally where it was. Yes, uh, but absolutely. It, but what Patrick is saying is that with all the tractors and everything that always went over that area, that is so compacted down Yes, the soil in that area. It's like you could use a pickaxe to and uh to get get this done and we just mm -hmm. had that conversation with john the electrician uh they have the same problem and uh <laughs> it is very, very frustrating if you, you want to borrow that thing and he said yes once this, the ground is actually open so short of kidnapping a neighbor mm -hmm. who is a farmer to plow this through at least twice uh we just it is uh, going to be a labor of love but we have started potashi so what we decided to do is that we're going to do a dig and a no dig. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we had to open the, the, the sod, the, the, the grass, mm -hmm. to get anything in there. Um, but we have one row with cardboard underneath mm -hmm. and soil, and it's not finished. So, But we had two choices here. Either not to have any vegetables this year, right. or doing it now and slowly improving you know, week after week. And this is what we went with. Right. This was the time for us to do it. We had things that had to be planted. Yeah. Right. Otherwise they were going to die or go to waste. Right? Yes. And so basically this is, uh, we needed to do it. So this is the way we did it for now. We are not done with the garden. No, it's, I mean, you know, other people have 10, 20 years on us mm -hmm. with, with establishing their protégé or they had a lot of help. Right. Um, so we did this and it was actually, uh, it, it was very funny. We laughed a lot about it. We did. <laughs> yes, we did. Yeah. <laughs> when that, that tiller mm -hmm. is pulling me behind it, it's, <laughs> it's mm -hmm. very funny. And um, now this week was also the week where I, I think part of me tried to commit suicide. <laughs> yeah. What's that about, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> so we got this. I wanted a really nice bread knife. And we got one. It's uh, one of those Japanese uh, knives and serrated, beautiful. It knife. is, and it, it it cuts through nails and everything. So that's this. yes, fingernails. <laughs> uh, yes, those mm. nails. And yeah. this is carpal tunnel syndrome. So um, this won't stop me. Um, I know I have to be careful. Um, it's not funny, but uh, I. Um, I did ironing today and all that stuff. You so actually did quite a lot today, yes. Uh, and it, it's despite your hand, yeah. right? But you know, it's it's. This is supposed to be. Uh, oh yes, just supposed to not do anything. Whatever you do, I can't do nothing. It was I the just, same with my ankle. Huh? I'm sorry, <laughs> but you know, yeah, it's true. I tried as much as I could to not be on my ankle, and I probably prolonged the healing. But you know, we've got things to do, <laughs> right? It's true. No, it, so it's, this is, um, it, it is, it's sometimes quite painful. Uh, most of the time it's just uncomfortable, but it's fine. We're going to deal with it. So, um, so today, oh, good Lord. I just had a, a complete blank. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't because I spent the whole day baking today. Oh yes, you did. Yes. We have the, the coronation party at Tony and Jane's coming up this weekend. And so I started the baking of the cakes, which is going to be three two-layer cakes that are Victoria Sponge. So I got the first part done today. And uh, tomorrow then I will be doing all the decorating, as well as when Patrick starts doing all of the quiche making. <laughs> right? Yes. Uh, tomorrow is going to be one of those days that is... Um, there's not going to be enough time. Insanity. There's not going to be enough time for us tomorrow. And we might be up till, I don't know, two or three in the morning. Mm. And then we go to the coronation party. And Sunday we are uh, visiting an amazing chateau. We are. Yes. With Tony and Jane. So yes. we, got, we uh, are going to tea to a chateau that most of you will know very well. 
And we're excited about that. Mm -hmm. Monday is another holiday in this country. <laughs> yes, fantastic. it's like the third. There are three this month, right? Four. Four. Oh. It's fantastic. So, in any case, so that's going to be so much fun. Um, Monday we're going to a Bocante in the morning, mm -hmm. and then we have to get the sheet finished. So mm -hmm. the farmhouse. We're like 90% there, mm -hmm. but 90% is not good enough. So. <laughs> right. Oh, good grief. I were in there today and it was funny because a lot of things just didn't quite work out. <laughs> no, it, it didn't. We were, we were laughing. There are, some there are some days when you go to work on something <laughs> and then you just need to stop because <laughs> because sometimes things just, just don't aren't working. So you just need to stop. But it is, we are like this close to getting it completely done. Yeah. And well, or, I suppose, I mean, all of these old buildings are a work in progress, not because we need to renovate, but it's, you, you know, you change decorations, we find things that are brocante. And we did that last week and we thought that would be great mm -hmm. for, you know, a specific room. So we just pick it up and, and so now it sits there for a while until that thing is done. Right, right. <laughs> It is a lot of fun. Uh, it is exhausting. Mm. Um, this doesn't help. Yeah. But I can smack anyone. It looks like it, but I, I shouldn't. Um. <laughs> anyway, so we both digress. And uh, you did. Didn't you? I did. So I actually did uh, record my making the cakes today. So check it out. Hi, everyone. So today I'm going to work on baking some cakes for a coronation party this weekend. These are. Uh, sheet cake versions of a Victoria sponge. Uh, traditionally, a Victoria sponge is usually done as a round form. This is a large party, so we're going to be doing three sheet cakes, uh, each with two layers, so I'm making six total cakes. So this recipe right now is just going to be for one cake. Uh, so the first thing that I need is uh, eight ounces or 225 grams of softened butter, unsalted. This is eight ounces or 225 grams of castor sugar or granulated sugar. We have 275 grams or 10 ounces of uh, flour. And uh, in the case of, uh, in the United States, this would be considered self-rising flour. But here in France, just some information about flour in France. There are six different types of wheat flour used in baking in France. So you can see this is a type 45, which is the lowest of all the numbers. And the lower the number, the more refined and pure the flour is. Uh, it's the whitest of all of the flours and it uh, bakes light and airy. Uh, the numbers also here in France for flour, there are T55, 65, 80, 110, and 150. And by the time it's 150, it is, uh, very dense, usually I think for breads and things when you want a really solid, dense bread. Uh, coincidentally, the nutritional value is higher if more fiber is in it, which would be the higher number. So T45, lowest of the numbers, no nutritional value at all. That's not what we're concerned about. So moving on, uh, we need two level teaspoons of baking powder and here in France, you can see this is what baking powder looks like here in France. There will also be four large eggs, uh, room temperature, and four tablespoons of milk. So I'm going to start putting it all together. The instructions are to put everything, all the ingredients into a mixer bowl and mix it all together. There's no special uh, instructions about adding certain, adding the wet first and then adding the dry to the wet or adding it slowly. I mean, there is nothing about that at all in this recipe. And just for anybody who is interested, if you <laughs> if you want to uh, argue with any of the points that I'm the, about this recipe, just so you know, this is where this recipe is coming from. So uh, I don't think I could probably get any more traditional than doing her version of this sponge cake. So let's start putting it all together.
Okay, the batter's all mixed up. So now we have a 23 by 30 centimeter baking pan. It has been buttered on the bottom and on the sides. And then a piece of parchment has been put just in the bottom only. And now we're going to pour the batter in it and level it out. So our oven has been preheated to 180 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna put the cake in and it should be about 35 to 40 minutes and you just need to watch it as it starts to brown up to make sure it doesn't overcook. So that's the cake out of the oven. Uh, you're supposed to leave it in the tin to cool and then after it's cool, then you can invert it onto a cooling rack and remove the parchment paper from the bottom. So now that I have six layers done, I can put together the three cakes, each with two layers, and they will have a layer between of the jam jelly. Uh, and uh, traditionally for Victoria sponge, it's either going to be raspberry or strawberry. And then I'll be able to finish the top, decorate it. The main cake will have uh, decorated on fruits on top like a Union Jack. It's gonna look fantastic. I hope so. <laughs> And you will be doing what? Well, while you are doing cakes, I will actually pick up uh, someone at the airport in Limoges. And Tony and Jane don't know that yet. Surprise. Surprise. And uh, by, the, by the time this airs, this is going to be um, done. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's no uh, spoilers here. Unless the plane right. is delayed. Right. Oi. In any case, so while... They're going to have a good time. I'm going to sit and uh, now stand actually and make quiches. Mm. Um, I'm going to blind bake them in the morning. And when I come back, I'm going to fill them and bake them. So if I do, I'm not responsive during this video at any, any time, uh, I might have just taken out a quiche and put another one in. <laughs> right. <laughs> and might I just add, this is 24 eggs. I think about a liter of cream. That's about a quarter of a gallon. Right. And uh, I just went through 24 eggs <laughs> doing the cakes as well. So This is a cholesterol <laughs> heaven. Uh, and there is, uh, I think I have about four kilos of grated Emmental cheese. Mm. Because uh, quiches are always made with Emmental. Mm -hmm. Well, almost always. There are some exceptions, but so it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, the original cor uh, coronation quiche, well, not that original, but however, <laughs> the uh, the quiche that is the official mm. coronation quiche has mm. spinach and broad beans. So neither of which is in season right now. So I have enough for two quiches mm. to make the original coronation quiche. The rest is going to be quiche Lorraine, and we just pretend it's coronation quiche. <laughs> I'm sure they will be delicious no matter what. So. Well, and then we have Jane making actually coronation chicken. Right. Oh, yeah. So excited about it. I could sit next to it and eat it, which, of mm. course, I will not and I shouldn't anyways, <laughs> but it's delicious. We have had our coronation chicken. It, divine. Mm -hmm. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, recommend us to your friends if you want to participate in the renovation of the chateau. Join us on Patreon. I know this video was a little bit at the talk. Well, mostly me, all over the place. However, right. this is right now a time when it is. It's crazy here. It, it is. Yeah. And we have our first guests arrive uh, in a couple, uh, four days. Yeah. So we are trying to get everything done. It is crazy. And a coronation 
and my cousin arriving. So it's a lot and I'm so glad you're with us. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Au revoir. Bye. Auf Wiedersehen. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.